I've spent so much time talking about my projects that my friends actually gave me a dedicated shilling channel on Discord. Today I'm going to talk about exactly what it is that I'm shilling. I feel like YouTube's probably a good place to promote something like this, and I've totally not been making videos or keeping anyone in the loop with what I've been up to. So, uh, here's basically what uh, my life revolves around at the moment. I mentioned it very briefly in my uh, winter vlog. That's because my friend Joey's been doing the soundtrack for me and we went to record a music video with him. But this is the actual game itself, Brawlquest. Um, this is something I've been working on now for a year and a half. And this was all done by me. Every, every single line of code for this game was written by me. And it's it's been absolute chaos. It's been a year and a half. These graphics weren't made by me. These graphics were made by a guy called David Gervais for a thing called Time Tick. There's another game uh, similar to this that uses these graphics called RPGMO. It's nothing like that game. This is much more sort of action oriented and combat focused. You might have noticed I loaded it up that it is actually on Steam. Um, it's going to be releasing on Steam. The alpha is currently available on Steam if you have a key. Um, and the actual game itself is currently planned to come out October 1st. I'm probably going to be pushing that back to November 1st. Yeah, it's definitely coming out November 1st. You can actually go onto Steam and search Brawl Quest. And it actually comes up. Uh, it, it actually eventually comes up with the actual game that I'm actually making. That's pretty cool, I think. Look, as developer of this game, you can see this message. You need to take action to release your application. Uh, if you go on any game forum and ask the question, how do I make an MMO? You're gonna get one answer, and that answer's gonna be don't. Well, when I was 14, uh, I did that, and I was told not to. And then I tried to do it anyway, and it failed. And then I tried again, and it failed, and I did this about 10 times, and finally it seems to be working. It might not, but um, hopefully, hopefully it will. As well as that, I released this EP, uh, If We Move Forward, a few months back, which is available on Spotify and iTunes and all of that. So that gets you about up to date with everything that I've been working on and doing and and just chilling. And yeah, I finished my second year at university with a 2-1, going on to my third year. Fingers crossed that I get a first, I need to work really hard. I'm doing four uh, volunteer positions next year. I'm going to be the school rep, I'm on the committee for the comedy society, I'm running the game development society, and I'm running just play football sessions on a Monday, so... And doing a dissertation and being a fiancé, and doing music, so hopefully I'll be able to balance that life, but uh, we'll see, that, that'll be fun to watch. I'm gonna try and make more videos, sorry this has been really short, there's not been a lot of content, I'll throw in a time lapse or something after this message, um, but I want to start making more videos because it's a good way of sort of getting my thoughts out there, and I'm talking really really fast because my camera is flashing to say, oh we're out of battery, and if I don't record this now, I'm never gonna record this, this video will never come out, so yeah. I'm fairly certain that just a few weeks ago we had like a heat wave in the UK, but you, you wouldn't know, would you? You wouldn't know. I mean, this is this is basically snow at this point. It's like the rain's like really low in density. It's flying about all over the place. For about uh, well, a year now, I suppose. For about a year now, uh, me and my dad have been working on some music. Uh, he's been writing some songs, I've been laying down some guitar and keyboard parts, and today is the first ever sort of public exhibition of them. Um, we're playing a very sort of stripped down, stripped back live set at the Red Lion. It's been like a big stressor because I haven't been particularly confident in my ability to uh, play these songs to the standard at which I think they deserve to be played. But after quite a few practices this week, um, I think it's starting to sound really good. Cool. Oh, yeah? Trust me, us. Are you comfortable with that? Me filming you? No, I hate it. Touch, cast the shining fairy dust and turn a 
song. 